What happened to Leon Trotsky, who was Lenin's right-hand man and led the Red Army to victory in the Russian Civil War? After the Russian Civil War, Leon Trotsky would struggle for power and be exiled from the Soviet Union. What were his remaining years like? In 1921, Trotsky played a crucial role in rebuilding relationships between countries. The Treaty of Rapallo helped restore diplomatic ties and normal relations between the Soviet Union and Germany. In 1922, there was a government meeting where jobs were given out by Lenin to the Bolsheviks. Trotsky's new job was the Commissar for War and was now in charge of the military. But in 1922, there was also a power struggle that erupted within the Soviet government. Trotsky found himself in the middle of conflicts over the direction the revolution and the leadership of the Communist Party and the Soviet Union should go. In 1924, Vladimir Lenin died and the Soviet government needed a new leader to take his place. After Lenin's death, the struggle for power intensified. Trotsky, along with other prominent Bolsheviks, competed for control of the party and of the country. Trotsky does confront his rival Joseph Stalin as tensions rise between the two who are most likely to succeed Lenin. However, in 1927, Trotsky lost his positions of power and was expelled from the Communist Party. He clashed with Stalin over many ideological differences in the future direction of the Soviet Union. Trotsky was also arrested and sent to exile in Alma-Ata. Trotsky was kept in his house and not allowed to leave. He was stripped of his power and subject to surveillance and restrictions. In 1929, Trotsky was eventually deported from the Soviet Union as Stalin wanted to solidify his control as the new leader. Trotsky was forced to leave for Turkey. He continued to voice his opposition to Stalin and the Soviet government from abroad, advocating for the overthrow of the Stalinist regime. During the 1930s, Trotsky lived in various European countries. He faced continuous persecution from Stalinist agents, including assassination attempts. Despite the challenges, he remained firm in his opposition to Stalin's rule. Trotsky eventually moved to Mexico because the Mexican government offered him refuge and protection from Stalin. The night of August 20th, 1940, Trotsky was seriously injured in his Mexican home by an assassin acting on behalf of Stalin. He dealt a fatal blow to Trotsky's head. The next day, doctors work urgently to save Trotsky, but it's too late. Despite the best efforts of medical professionals, Trotsky succumbed to his injuries the next day. Leon Trotsky's life after the Russian Civil War was filled with exile, struggle, and ultimately assassination. His unwavering commitment to his revolutionary ideals and his opposition to Stalin's regime defined his final years. Stalin wouldn't just assassinate Trotsky, but dozens of political opponents who would dare to challenge him.